everyone, this is a Math 082 video. This is 3.3, .3, where we learn about scientific notation. Specifically, we are going to learn how to exponentiate or raise values that are written in scientific notation to different exponents. So we have two different pieces. We have 1.8 here, and we have 10 to the negative fourth. So we're going to have to use the power rule here. If you recall from a previous section, the power rule says that when you have a power raised to a power, we just simply multiply those exponents. So this 1.8, I believe it's called a mantissa. You don't necessarily need to know that term. We are going to be raising that to the third power. We will also be taking the term, the expression 10 to the negative fourth, and cubing that as well. So this first bit is really just a job for your calculator. I'm sure everybody can type that into their calculators. And so we get 5.832, at least that's what my calculator told me. And then the second part is using the um, power rule to multiply these exponents. And so we end up with the answer 5.832 times 10 to the negative 12, and that's it. So let's do a problem that's a little bit more involved. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna treat this as two separate numbers being multiplied by one another. So we have 5.5, and that gets squared. We also have 10 to the negative fifth power, and again, that is also squared. So 5.5 squared, that's a job for your calculator. And that gives us 30.25, and then here, this is our power rule, becomes 10 to the negative 10th. Now, I've said this in previous videos, so it might start to feel a little bit redundant, which is good. Hopefully it's seeping into your memory. Um, this is not in scientific notation. And the reason it's not in scientific notation is that you have not one, but two digits in front of the decimal place. By definition, scientific notation will look like something like this. There can only be one digit in front of the decimal place. There's more than one digit there. It looks like something, but it's not scientific notation. So just like I've done in the previous videos, we need to convert 30.25 to scientific notation. Okay, so we are starting with our decimal place right here. We need it to end, we need it to land right there in front of the three in order to satisfy this requirement that there's a, only a single digit in front of um, our decimal point. All right, so this is again where many people get confused. We know that we move the decimal point just once so this is either 10 to the first power or 10 to the negative first power. Um, in a previous video, I talked about whether, how to know whether um, you have a positive or negative exponent. Most people want to think about whether you moved it left or right. But again, if you watch that video, it's, it can be very confusing because left or right depends on too many different things. So the, the way I always remember it is... I ask myself, okay, self, do you have a number that's greater than one or less than one? So I think we can all agree that 30 is more than one, right? We'd rather have $30 than $1. So because it is greater than one, that means I have a positive exponent. So my final solution here is 3.025 times 10 to the first power. Now at this point, you might have forgotten what we were even doing, so let me write it out for you. We have, or we had, let's say, 30.25 times 10 to the negative 10th power, and then, write it in a different color here, we changed that to 3.025 times 10 to the first power. So we just changed this first bit, but guess what? This 10 to the negative 10th, he's still there, he hasn't gone anywhere, so, because I have these two 10 values here, I can combine those, I can use the product rule, and I can add the exponents 
to get my final answer.